Wir freuen uns hier, dass es zum ersten Mal zu einem Treffen kommt zwischen einer Europaauswahl und einer afrikanischen Auswahl. Fußball ist Kampf, aber nie Hass. Wir sagen Nein zum Rassismus. Welcome to the Stadium of Light in Lisbon, Portugal, where for the first time ever a European select side will face an all-star African team. This historic event represents a new era in the relationship between the African Football Confederation and UEFA. They join forces to make their contribution to the European Year Against Racism campaign. And this is the European Select side. No shortage of stars there with the European Football of the Year, Matthias Sammer in at number 16. The African All-Stars too can boast its share of outstanding internationals with the like of Babangida and Mark Fish there at number five. A fitting statement of how serious the CAF and UEFA are in their commitment to stamp out racism in football. The European team will be under the guidance of Ranis Mikels and Betty Votes. They must be feeling rather spoilt for choice. And uh, some wonderful players here on view as the two captains, Abedi Pele for Africa and Matthias Sammer for Europe, shake hands and go through the normal rituals pre-match. And how fitting that Eusebio, one of the all-time greats in world football, has been selected to kick off this spectacle. The first African-born player to be elected Footballer of the Year in Europe. And the Portuguese referee, Vito Pereira, gets the game underway. Europe are in the all-blue, Africa are in green. And just a shame that the weather has rather let us down. The rain has come down very heavily indeed. But this pitch, the home, of course, of the famous Benfica club, will, I'm sure, be able to uh, take the strain. There's the first free kick of the match, awarded against Jürgen Klinsmann. Famous Bayern Munich and German footballer, of course, set to be moving from Germany at the end of the season. And here are Europe now with Vincent Guerin from Paris Saint-Germain threading a beautiful ball through there, and it's shepherded away by Taribo West. He took it away from his own goalkeeper, Arense. Now Saib, one of the Algerian players in this African side, figures prominently in the move. And uh, there's the first real shot of the game, and well claimed by Edwin van der Sar, the Ajax and Holland goalkeeper. Nicely turned back again by Guerin. And then uh, knocked into space by Ronald de Boer. The move is kept going by Kula. And then making ground on the right, Jao Pinto, down he goes. And muted appeals. The goal kick was given. Just a moment there for Radwan as he makes this well, it looked uh, quite a decisive lunge. Picked up there by Sundi Olissier from Nigeria. And the growth of African football in recent years has been reflected in the performances of teams like Cameroon and Nigeria in successive World Cup tournaments. And here is Eman Olise who was in the Nigerian side in USA 94. And this is very, very good approach play. And taken on again by Elise, who's probably been the best player on view in the opening minutes. Looks extremely lively. Frank de Boer playing it back into the danger area. And there might be a chance here, and it's very well struck. Alberto Pele driving that shot in at Van der Sar. And that required a good stop from the number one in Holland. Pelé really putting some power into that effort. Inside from Amanqua, he plays his football in Ghana. Pelé has orchestrated this move again, and he's uh, going to be on the end of it too. Look to receive again from Elise, and this is Pelé, and that's Ebeni Pelé! And that's a quite fabulous goal! And the Ghanaian strikes the first blow of the match in quite wondrous fashion. 
Abedi Pelli, it's no wonder he was named African Footballer of the Year. He's brought Smiles to the bench with an exquisite effort. This really is a quality goal. He almost stabbed the ball. Look at this. Beautiful chip shot. Van der Sar, a spectator, and it's 1-0 to Africa. Well, this is worth seeing time and time again. It could not have been more deliciously placed. And Africa taking the lead here, just outside the 18-yard area. Perfect. And now the onus is back on the European side, under the guidance of Michels, and votes to come back, and come back they do. Jao Pinto involved in the move, and it's collected this time by Arense. Andre Arense, who plays for Cape Town Spurs in South Africa. It was a neat ball through, and good running by De Boer, who cut back inside Radwan. That like was too straight. Boban, you see the land player, of course. Jean Pinto, plays his football here in Portugal. They've created space outside the area, but I'm afraid that's not one of the better efforts of Boban's career. And that was played in the European Cup final. On by Kula. And then Boban. Such a talented player, the Croat. Geran's involved in this move, and there'll be a free kick. One by Klinsman, edge of the area, out of Taribo West. And the tall Nigerian defender who plays in France with Auxerre. And he was penalised in a very advantageous position here for Europe. And Boban could well be the one interested in taking this. It's well driven and just floating over the top of Arenze's crossbar. But a much better, better effort than we saw a moment or two ago from Vladimir Boban. Struck this one well with some power. Abangida there, now taken up by Amankwa. And nicely hoisted out to that far side, oh, and a, a vicious shot was delivered there by Paliel. And uh, Santos, Paulino Santos, has felt the full force of that. And uh, Paliel goes to apologise, apologize. I don't think there's any need to do that. It was uh, struck venomously. And he certainly felt the full force of that one. Move along this time, and it's not easy to control the ball in these conditions, but it's played along the line by Guerin, and he's onside here, and the cross is a deep one. It came in from Boban, and Arenzi has so far dealt very well with everything. Oh, it's a delightful ball through. And Zama was the one who made the run, and he wins the corner out of West, who was the covering defender. Babangida, a member of that uh, Nigerian side which won the gold medal at the Olympics. They played some good football, neat, fluent. And here is Sunday Elise, who's at the hub of most things, and he'll drive this one in. It's a good five or six feet too high. But what a gifted player he is. Uh, Rui Costa. Another gifted player from Fiorentina these days and uh, does well to keep this one in and it's going to be met here by Klinsmann and a thrilling try from the German and what a good stop again by Arenze, typical Klinsmann there and a fine save from the South African goalkeeper yeah, Here's a strong run from Babangida he's had this outstanding first season at Ajax and he's got on into the area here, and the ball has to be put away for the corner by Kula. Strong running again from Babangida. And the crowd enjoying the quality of the contest, and they certainly enjoyed the quality of the shot from Klinsman and the save from Arenze. Still, Africa lead 1-0. Here is Guerin. He's certainly taking on a Manqua well. Oh, and it's stubbed just wide. 
It was Joe Pinto who came in there. And he didn't have much time to assess his prospects. Stubbed the shot just wide. It's a good play leading up to that by the Paris Saint-Germain midfielder Guerin. And it literally could have gone anywhere. It went the wrong side of the upright for Jean Pinto. Nicely done again. And laid back for Saeed. I'd like another goal before half-time if it's uh, at all possible. So strike on sight. Well, we've seen some good efforts in this first half from both sides. That was another one from Elise. So coming close to half time now. And, uh, an important clearing header, but picked up again by Jean Pinto. And then Guerin, and then Klinsman, and then Guerin again. 1 1. Beautifully struck and beautifully orchestrated by Vincent Guerin. And it was Jurgen Klinsman who threaded the ball through to him. The return pass was perfect. The finish matched it. So on the stroke of half time, Europe a level. And Vincent Guerin really deserves this goal. It was Klinsman's pass to him, the return ball that opened up the African defence. And the match perfectly poised. Guerin had played the ball into Klinsman. He returned the compliment and a crisp finish. 1-1. Africa, they're not despondent by that, are bursting forward through Frank Amanqua. Yeah, that one was rising all the way. Some good tries, Sunday Elise. Driving that one through. And Van de Sar at full stretch. Just took the outside of the upright. And that's half time here in the Stadium of Light in Lisbon. The scoreline level, Abede Pelli giving Africa the lead with an exquisite chip goal. And Vincent Guerin with the equaliser a minute before half time. The statistics of the half showing there were only seven fouls throughout 45 minutes and eight shots on goal, five of them by the African side. So it's very, very even. 1997 has been designated as the European Year Against Racism to highlight the fight against racism, xenophobia and anti-Semitism. This in response to the continuing presence of racial prejudice, discrimination and racist attacks in all aspects of society.